Welcome back. I think I'm going to name this series Reseller Chronicles. You know, kind of a vlog name. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pack a canvas painting. It's on the smaller side, but if you ever have problems packing things, I think I'll show you from time to time how to pack something. So this is an item that we... Let's pull what's sold first. So in store number one, it looks like we have eight items going out. Now, if you've seen my last video, it's books, books, books. So a lot of items are book related. The first one up sold for $15 is The Last Testament of Lucky Luciano. All right, here it is in 49G0. The next one going out is The Klansman. There it is. This one sold for $26.60. Now, if a book sells in less than two minutes, does it mean I priced it too low? It's by Isaac Ozanoff. And if anybody knows them, they're, he's a big sci-fi guy. I, Robot. There it is here. This sold for $100. All right, the next item going out, I'm going to let my husband pull that, Irvin. And uh, it is a 2005 Harley Davidson gas tank. It sold for $175. We actually took a best offer on that one. Next going out is some fur skins. There's a place called Moody Hollow where the fur skins live. That's right, fur skins have come to Wendy's. Dudley Furskin and his country friends. It sold for $10. Next up is an Elvis Presley record. It sold for $11. And we listed it about a month ago. So we had a set of R.H. Harvey Pinnock golf gloves going out. Sold for $79. We took an offer on that. I'm going to let Irvin pull those and get them packed. We had them listed about, well, since March, about a little over two months. All right, moving on to the next store. We got a set of Bohemian glasses going out. All right, there they are. Claudia vintage glasses. They actually sold for $55, but the person picked local pickup. So I had to send them a message and get their address to see if I was going to foot that bill or not. They ended up being in Connecticut, which isn't too bad. So the shipping's $8. So I'm going to foot the bill and take that on myself because I'm a good person and I need money. <laughs> All right. In store number three, we got a three things going out. The first up is a Canon lens. Oh my gosh. You got so many lenses over here. I don't even know which one it is. Ah! Lenses, lenses. I thought I would be good enough to see which lens it is. Lord have mercy. Oh, this might be it. Alright, I think this is it. That is not it. The right lens. 69. Alright. Next up is this little railroad crossing. Sold for $9.90. Uh, got a catalog going out for $9.90. It's a Lionel 1949 catalog. In Facebook, we actually had a record go out. Ted Nugent. All right, nothing in Macari, so I think that is it. Um, no Amazon orders. So let's get back to that packing. We have this photo here. It is a real painting on canvas that we need to ship out. And we're gonna walk you through shipping this. So, of course, first you need to get the measurements of the picture. So, the measurements of this is 22 and a half by 18 and a half. And then, of course, you gotta be careful, make sure no pressure. I wanna have at least a couple inches around the outside. Uh, the idea is that you don't want pressure on the actual painting. You want to try to make it where it's kind of floating in there. Now this one doesn't have glass, but we still have to be very careful of the canvas. All right, so we had this box. We actually got a little lucky that we had this one. It fits well. There's not as much room as we would like on the edge, but again, since we're not dealing with glass, I think we're gonna be okay with that. It gives us plenty around the sides. Right, so we have some of this paper. We're gonna wrap it up in paper. We don't wanna get any scratches or anything. I also take some of this tissue paper and we will put it over the top. Again, trying to make sure the canvas doesn't end up scratched or anything. There's a little indention. I guess you can see it here. We're gonna fill that in with some bubble wrap to try to cushion any pressure that may be applied from handling or anything else. So we'll fill in those gaps and try to make it as even as possible. 
All right, since this particular picture is canvas, uh, the backing has gotten ripped, but we're also going to put some bubble wrap here to fill in the gap um, on this side too. Now we're going to layer it with bubble wrap on the outside. All right, we're testing the fit to make sure it fits well. All right, so we're gonna have to resize this box to bring it down some or the shipping will be terrible. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. With our Hefty Dafty box resizer, you can find it in the link below. <laughs> I'm an influencer. <laughs> will score the edge so it makes it easier for folding. I feel like you use it every day, don't you? Mm -hmm. At least once a day. Mm -hmm. I feel like you use it a lot. I find that part to be harder than the actual scoring. Now you notice we did not cut it all the way down to the picture frame because you want to leave some room for some extra bubble wrap and cushion that will add. Again, if this had glass in it, it would be shipped much differently. So this is a glassless canvas painting. Plus it has a wood frame, not one of those plastic ones. So what you're looking for is you don't want to see any major dips in there that could puncture or hurt the painting. Recycle, reuse, right babe? All right, it's all packed up and ready to go. Hopefully it will make it there safely. I actually saw some rooms for improvement, so if you notice them, put it down below if you have any tips, would love to hear it. If you enjoyed seeing shipping videos, just let me know. I'll be glad to make some more of some things that we ship out to get from A to B. Anyway, see you next time.